Welcome to Gin Talk with Mike J, Groovy Drew, Trav, and Keisha. Gen Talk Podcast with your boy Mike J. Boy Groovy. It's Trail. And we live, baby. We live. Goddamn time. Yeah, we, we, ain't in the, uh, we ain't in our bedrooms or anything <laughs> <laughs> no more. We finally made it live. We're we're in the plug ATL studio. Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad we finally we finally did it. We should be popping. Like, we're going to pop bottles later on. We got to celebrate oh, later on. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When we say a lot can happen in a year. A lot Ooh. can happen. Well, this shit started in February. Look at us now. Look at us now. Ain't that right, group? Hot damn a bell. <laughs> <laughs> God dang. But yeah, man, it's been um it's been a um rough couple of months lately because you know the whole COVID stuff and all that. You know, everybody wanna get out and party. You know, we got a special guest coming in today. Uh Keisha's gonna be here later on. Um, but we got our boy Shamu from uh, Drum Dummy. He's gonna come in here. We have an interview with him, his new album. Um, he's gonna promote that. So, uh, right now we're just gonna get into a little segment where we talk about breakups, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about our, our past mistakes and what we learned from them and everything. So, what y'all feel about like breakups? Like, my whole thing is avoid sex at all costs and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have sex, you can't. You can't be in no like, you, like you break up, that's done. Like if y'all could be friends, but for as to sex wise, if you have sex, that's just gonna re- rekindle, uh, re- re- rekindle all emotion, mm-hmm. and you will be back where we start. Where you'll be back where you started. Yeah, yeah. So the so the sex has to stop. Like you can like, you know what I'm saying? You can you can form some great friendships from breakups. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes some people are are not meant to be relation be in relationships. They're probably better meant to be friends. So. Long as you, long as you understand that set the sets has stopped, you you'll be good. Like make sure, make sure you, you gotta follow those rules. You can't be cut, but so maybe one time, yeah, one time gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt a lot. You gonna get that passion when you get that passion, boy. You like, you know what? Let's, you know, ain't that bad. Let's work it out. And then three months down the line, y'all back to doing the same shit. So it is what it is. So I'm just taking it all in. You taking yeah. it all? <laughs> it's been a long journey. Oh yeah, it's been a long journey. You see what Drake was saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, but nah. As for breakups, you know what I'm saying. You just gotta be honest with the person. You can't settle with stuff. If you settle with stuff, you know you're gonna be. You're just gonna be settling. You're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna be walking on eggshells. You're gonna be even more mad and bitter. And then y'all gonna get more arguments. And sometimes you even turn into fatal. Sometimes. So sometimes you just gotta be honest with people. A lot of people ain't honest these days. They scared of how the person's gonna react when you break up. You just gotta be. Real about the situation. You just can't be, be like, uh, I love you. I love you. Oh. It's all good. Good for anyway, <laughs> But like, you know, it threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just gotta be more upfront about it up front. Yeah, got to. Yeah, man. You can't. You can't just be oh, this this about to be. It's about to be oh, we we we're, we're like, can we still have sex? Or you know, like a lot of people on. the Cause you know a lot of especially women they don't want they don't want their number to go up so they gonna convert back to their ex so yeah. so that's why there's a lot of time like oh we can still have sex no cause when we have sex with a feeling it's it's hoping up a whole new emotion like like I said you gonna you gonna it's like you having a, a wound then you know, once you peel back that wound oh some blood start coming <laughs> coming so hey you basically start over you can start the healing process all over so every time. You have sex with your ex after a breakup. You're just gonna start. You gonna you gotta restart the healing process. You will never hear from. It is what it is, man. Hey, look, when you what, get with somebody, once ahead. you put the tip in, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the feelings gonna come all the way back. Yeah, they're like, coming back. You remember the time? Remember the time? <laughs> <laughs> Downhill like, from there. They're gonna be looking like old oh, girl. Lion King and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can you feel uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it? When, when she licked his face, that was it. Oh, yeah, that was it, though. That was it. Nasty, it was over. Nasty mother lion. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, but nah, it's just, 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 it
just saying, man, be with somebody you comfortable with. You gotta have a best friend. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a friendship. Don't get with somebody just because of their looks or how much they can make it come fast or some shit like that. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how niggas get up and, you know, they get with the person. Oh, damn, this pussy was hella good. Damn, I, I can't let nobody else get this shit. Yeah, it'd be, some kind, it'd be some kind of benefits involved, whether, whether it's sometimes the sex or what that person was doing. T- pretty much taking care of them or, or doing doing stuff for them yeah. um, for the money or something like something have that person stuck like hey but you, but yeah, once a breakup all they got stopped you know what I'm saying like maybe like they they in screen help like they, they really need some help you let that person hey I'm gonna help you this time but for as like you know what I'm saying like all the time I'm still your I'm still your go to person I see that got stopped too you can still like help them every now and then like if it very important, like, hey, hey, man, I need you really to come through. You come through that one time, but it can't be a continuous thing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I can't say it. Hey, y'all, we raw and unfiltered around here. <laughs> I can't say that part, though. Why? What's up? It's a current event that just uh. happened not too long ago. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Love, find somebody who really cares about you. You know what I'm saying? You know, just be happy. A lot of people ain't happy these days. A lot of people are just stressed, yeah. depressed, and all that shit. Man, this your life. You get one go at this motherfucker. Yeah. So you live your life to the, bull, the fullest. You know what I'm saying? So. Another thing too, what drives people, and what well, drives people to that stage or to talk to their former partner is loneliness. You cannot let loneliness get you. Go and go. I mean, by any means, go steal a date. Like. People be putting this stigma out there. Oh, so once I break up, once you, you and this person break up, yeah, take a little time. But that don't mean stop you dating because they make they be trying to make you feel guilty. Like, oh, so you talk to this person the whole time. No, I'm moving on. I'm, I'm dating. I got to move yeah. on. You can't dwell on the past. Yeah. If you dwell, dwell on the past, you'll never move on. I know. And don't let people, you know, bring up, you know, cut people who are negative out of your life, too. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers going to make you feel bad about your old past decisions and all that shit. Just know that, you know, all your past decisions and all your decision making and all that shit, all your mistakes made you the person you are today. Yeah. You still here. You went through all that. You want to brought you to that person. Yeah, exactly. When motherfuckers bring old shit to your face, they ain't the right person for you. Somebody's supposed to be uplifting you and shit. So, yeah. Hey, it is what it is. Just know your value and know your worth. Yeah. And everything be all right. Value yourself. That's the most important thing. Value now, yourself. Motherfuckers don't do that. And then when they don't know their value, they'll just deal with shit. And when yeah, you know yeah. your value, I got to take this shit. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? When you know your fucking value and all that shit, you ain't got to deal with shit. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Hey. That's all. Hey. Hey. Where the camera is? Hey. You do what the fuck you want to do. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> Let me hit that angle. <laughs> it was, that traffic got me hyped. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's right, man. Ooh, Atlanta boy. Ooh. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, Atlanta is crazy, man. Hey, we oh, made it. We oh. made it. We made it. Up, you know, we were pressed. We had a lot of things to go bad. You know what I'm saying? But just, well, the most important thing when you get a lot of stuff to go bad, you got to keep pushing. We could easily say, you know what? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck it. Turn back around. But we kept pushing. We here now. You know what I'm saying? We got, like I said, Keisha on the way. Sham, Sham cool. on his way. Hey, this hey, we're gonna be back. This ain't this ain't this won't be the first, this won't be the last time. We're gonna shoot a couple live episodes. Oh yeah, we're gonna get wild and crazy up in there. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. man. We're trying to spread. Membership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, we 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 expanding the brand. Like we branding this year. Next year we're gonna be expanding. Like when we accomplished a lot in this short period of line since February. The great bambino just <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Got me Yeah. <laughs> Mike, pull, pull that chair. You're going to have to pull that chair close so he's shutting Mike with you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to lie. I'm going to lie. Lie. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all, y'all like, this, um, this here show y'all to keep pushing. No matter what, keep pushing. Like, like Jesus said, keep pushing, man. We went from anchor to live. Live. Man, Anchor, y'all got to step the game up. Damn, my y'all lost 73 to 4. Mm. Look, man. That's <laughs> all right. That ain't the time. <laughs> nah, let's see. They tried to embarrass. Look, I'm lost. Oh, she better go get drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is theatrics. But yeah, Keisha's in the building. She got to 
get dressed. So, hey, man, we're going to keep on rolling along. You know what I'm saying? We got another, like we can say, we got another segment coming. This is a two part segment. You know what I'm calling it? Hey, we have, we feeling ourselves right now. Yeah, yeah, we just taking it all in. Sorry for this. Like we ain't got like we got a lot of information. We just hey, but we just taking it all in for the first recording. We would we will be popping like I swear to God, if we were loud, I'm sorry we ain't gonna miss the studio. But we will be popping bottles. <laughs> we gonna do it later. We gonna be popping. Bottles. We gonna pop a couple bottles. Cause, like we, I know it. We won the championship. Feel like hey, you feel like we won the championship. Hey, get a shot. <laughs> It's, it's like it's less and less love, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're everybody, like, hey, you, it's always a battle between people, whether between black and white, black on black, man versus woman, black man versus black woman. It's always a battle. It's a new battle every day that's being implicated, but look like social media. It's always a battle between somebody, and we are, we are constantly fighting. Like, we, it's always, we can't come together like, we like it's always a narrative. Hey, so is you doing this because, like you are you are you are, you are what you, you, if you speak up for this, you putting down another another um another race or another sexual or something. You just gotta come together and stop all the, the competitiveness. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's, let's come together, you know, at least for once. Everybody still doing this high school competition shit. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah pretty much pretty much pretty much. Fucking show and tell. <laughs> Nigga, this is not elementary. We ain't show and tell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Live your life. Do what you have to do to better yourself. Don't worry about what the next man doing. Nah, nah. And don't try to do the same thing the next man doing because you see him do it. You probably missing your calling because you trying to do what he do. Mm-hmm. So, it, it is what it is. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah, man, we just uh, like like I said, we just talking. Us, so we just like I said, we just decided to be in the studio. Like we are like like this. <laughs> <laughs> The first segment is about breakups, like saying once a, once a breakup ends, like unless y'all serious about getting back together, you know what I'm saying? Not not necessarily because some people do break up, break up, break up and get back and have a successful relationship. Like if you're not trying to do that, or something like, or they try to make it work, but some people just like that break up. But I still want to have sex with you. You can't do that. You gotta be you gotta be completely shit off if you want closure and healing. So if you don't, hey, you gonna keep you, you gonna like it's gonna keep running like running to a closed door. <laughs> hey, just like a door closed, you're not gonna be able to make it out the door. So if you breaking up, going back for some reason other than to being together, make, uh, making a relationship where it's just gonna be walking walk through this closed door. I'm gonna keep gonna hitting the door. It never opens. It's never gonna open. It's always closed. So once a breakup, a breakup, open a new door. Like if you wanna stay there, if you want like like I feel like if you keep going back to the person, you you basically just you comfortable with that person. You just you don't want you don't want to move on. One of the people don't want to move on. Yeah, you got low self-esteem. Yeah, yeah, low self-esteem or something like you just hey. That's where the bad habit come in because you don't you used to because you don't know when to leave. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah, you used to this shit. You ain't used to you ain't used to different. Yeah. If it's different, you scared you scared of the unknown, so you scared to go and try something out. Or if you keep on doing the same shit over and over, you know that's the sign of insanity. So you need to go ahead and try something different. If you getting the same results, do something different. If you getting the same nigga, do something different. Yeah. If you're the same female, do something different. If you still fat, do something different. <laughs> what am I doing? Doing something different. Doing something different. You gotta do something. Yeah, you gotta do. You gotta find like like they say what is it? the the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and expect different results. Hell yeah. So y'all know what y'all gotta do. Don't let Facebook run your lives. Yeah. Looking at all these memes people be posting. Man, <laughs> take care of him, feed him, and beat his ass. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tyler Perry movies, I'm telling you. <laughs> Baby boy and shit. I like, promise. Bro, come on now. That's, 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 that's,
ain't love. Uh-uh, at all. That nigga Jody Stress. <laughs> yes, <fuck. laughs> That's fuck. That's real, yo. You ain't got hey. no car. Live, man, that, that live with it. Live with it. <laughs> 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 <Got him>. oh. <laughs> How many kids he had? Like two, two or three? Yeah, two. Yeah, and one he ain't paid attention yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, he ain't even care about those kids. The other guy, the other guy. I'm sorry, Tiana. Man, <laughs> he's a bad boy. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out that damage. <laughs> <laughs> she would have got straight. Damn it, boy. I'm getting crap, but this, this is the most important part. They say, did he cheat when he went over to old girl's house, though? You might well say he cheated. Even though he stopped, but you went over there. So he can't come. Oh, he did nothing. <laughs> I know, but hey, she didn't know he was over there. Then that was one of his um. I mean, he like, didn't have conscience until that fire. Yeah, that fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. The royal the fire and desire. Wait a minute, but then he, then he um, then she um let him stick it in the shit. Nah, she feels she's lucky. She tasted it. He said, "You better be lucky. I let you taste it." Yeah. <laughs> she gave him a little sample. <laughs> he, he said, just, then. "He said just a style." Yeah. That's like when people back in the day used to say, "It's head cheating." Uh, yeah, yeah. If I let it splash in your face, okay, boom. <laughs> it is what it is. It's or- cheating. I guess if you get an orgasm out of it, then hell. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but he ain't, but he ain't getting on you. She just say shit. Unless you fake it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how can a man? How a man gonna do? He gonna get a pack of uh, ranch? <laughs> 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 hey, what's this green stuff in there? Oh, baby, <laughs> <laughs> that's that keto. <laughs> <laughs> the veggies. <laughs> He's a <laughs> veggie. <laughs> Oh, man, we done, oh. man. <laughs> oh, my side hurt. Oh, man. Ooh, Lordy, boy. Yeah, but This is a blessing. God. Yes, it is. It is a blessing, man. Oh, man. I can't. I'm tired. <laughs> Stop laughing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. yeah, Keisha's in the building. You know, she, hey, she's in the Keisha. building. She, she, getting, hey, she getting ready. Sham on his way. For what? I don't know. Hey, hey, you know you don't want everybody to look good. We on camera. We on camera. Yeah. Gotta check out. We go. Hey, Gen Talk TV coming soon too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we still doing the Gen Talk twerk contest. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to go ahead and get wild and shit, I don't know. Yeah. Work on that promotion. Huh? Got work on that promotion. We got to. You know, stay breezy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 might, might end up like that. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, y'all see the. <laughs> Look at the special yeah. effects. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the special effects. Look at them. Get, yeah. get my sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My girl looking at me. Nigga. Yeah. I said, I got wine because it's keto. <laughs> <laughs> get a keto. Trav looking like, man, if this bitch going to get out my face. <laughs> get my dollar back. <laughs> I dropped it by mistake. Oh man, got the J's on. You got the. I don't know, I don't know what kind of shoes he gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got the same shoes I got on today. Look at him. He got you some supers. <laughs> at first, I was like feet lines. Nah, he got an Astro, Astro boots on, like some cowboy boots slash. Hey, yeah. <laughs> can't nobody else pull it off like me. That man got me in that medium shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I look like <uncomfortable. laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, it's a blessing, man. I I got a headache though. Yeah. From all this laughing and this spazzing out, some dude trying to ride a bike and through a road, boy. <laughs> I about lost. Oof. I see why they outlawed scooters here. You know, you know that, was, that was the problem they had with um little scooters downtown. They was just riding out in traffic and stuff and jumping in front of traffic. They were getting hit and stuff. So that's what they outlawed. That make you want to get out your car and whoop that. That's <laughs> what I got. I don't like that shit. Do rag Mike. <laughs> I had to do a rag on the day. Camera. <laughs> I had some shit. My head all fuzzy and shit. Like, Let me get this. Let me do this shit <laughs> right. <laughs> I said, do you like my way? I said, damn. <laughs> Some bitches laid <late>. down. <laughs> oh, man. Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami. Johnny. Yeah. Was that a coaster? Yeah, we bought, last time we had alcohol. I told oh. you about the bar. 
I thought you brought that. We may get drunk in this moment. <laughs> so be fair. Uh, they allow drinks in here. Don't kick us out, y'all. <laughs> This is our first time. We it was first this. time. You got the mic. Put the mic on. on the old thing on mic. You don't rotate. Oh, dang. I think the one I'm going to get on Amazon and rotate it. Though I said, I said it should have got it. But I guess everything's in prime. Everything's been pushed back. Damn. Shit, man. Yeah, man. We coming up on our... Uh, how, many, how many minutes we got on? Uh, it's about to be four. No, I'm talking about on, 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 on Anchor, my bad. <laughs> on Anchor. On Anchor? Shit. Yes. So no one on Anchor and it shut off. We had 22 minutes. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go 30. We're going to keep saying routine. We're going to go at 30, take a break. Yes, sir. Then we're going to have some more people in here with us. Like, hey, make sure y'all go and get that merch, too. Please. It's on sale. If y'all it's see this shit, hey, we got it on. Get the merch. Get the merch. Get the merch. Hey. <laughs> get the merch. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, no, you got some big up. We can't say that word. No, that's what you said. Jenny for everybody. Yeah. Jenny right. is for everybody. Yeah. It's gone, gone. Even, even the kids. Nah, not the nah, kids. Nah, not. Bedtime. Hey, take that out, take that out. <laughs> take that out. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. I love you, Jenny. She's going to make up. <laughs> put that makeup well, I on. That shit. I used to hate waiting for my, my ex. She used to be put on makeup. Are you impatient? No, I'm good. <laughs> 30 minutes of the man. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah this is nice. I, yeah. like, I like it. Yeah, man. Hey, y'all can say different. whatever y'all want about this episode. That we're just taking it all in. We're happy. Yeah. We're working, baby. You got the first episode. Yeah, first live episode. Live, 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 live. Live. From- Take your time, baby. Don't, <laughs> don't rush the process. Don't you rush this, the process. You ain't said, dude, this is not a funeral home. <laughs> I'm saving. I'm saving. Uh, I'm saving. <laughs> this is not a funeral home. I'm going to cut somebody off with it. <laughs> what do you mean? This is not a funeral home. <laughs> What wild in this mother? Shut your mouth, Mikey. Yeah, man. Yeah. What? what um. Yeah, man. Like, like, hey. This is like break. Like we said again. We, we this first half we talk about breakups. Don't let you. Don't let. Yeah, like I said, it's a lesson in every breakup. Every breakup, whether it's a friendship, relationship, any kind of any kind of thing involving two people, there's 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 always a lesson. It's important for you to find out the lesson. Learn the lesson. Mm-hmm. Chad, remember the lesson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Most important, remember the lesson. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like they always say, you don't want to step in the same shit twice. You know what I'm saying? Keep making the same mistake. It's gonna, it's becoming to a habit. It become a habit. It, it repetitive. Mm-hmm. So don't let, don't let. You know what I'm saying? Don't keep making the same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Dating, like, like that's 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 the goal of dating to learn. Learn mistakes or learn what you uh, what you need to work on to learn like learn your 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 flaws. Everybody got the flaws. Yeah. See that person, your one is the person that's gonna accept all your flaws. Not like not like oh you you do it such and such. This is always gonna turn to the argument. But your one gonna accept your flaws your flaws and love you. And you work it out. And y'all gonna work it out uh, work it out and gonna work through it. Like this this dip between your one and them others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, them others gonna fuck you good, but they ain't gonna give a damn about you at the end of the day. Man, you know, kill about you. So, and look, just be happy. Yeah, please, be happy. Just be happy. Be happy. And no entanglements. <laughs> I don't know about that. You can have an entanglement too if you're single. If you're single, you can have entanglements all Yeah, you're single. Yeah. You can do what you want. Yeah, what, what's, what's that? Nah, what they call a, sneak, a sneaky leak up? A sneaky link. <laughs> he ain't sneaking now because everybody telling everybody so. <laughs> like you go yeah. into the. Hey. Like, you be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm about to come through. I told you he was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told you he was going to do that. Shit. <laughs> I ain't hit him with a uh, six some more. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I'm coming through. Tonight. This is Keith Sweat <laughs> at the Sweat Motel. Yeah. With my emotional laugh. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> It'd be emotionally shit. This is key for Get the motherfucker out of the road. Get out of here. Get the fuck out the road, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
What time is it? It's 3.57. All my homies. You know what I'm, I guarantee she's going to look at the screen and say, what my picture? That, 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 that. Right there. <laughs> you got your flex in <laughs> Now look. She can go. I mean, hey, we'll shut the mic. <laughs> you got to push it around a little bit. got to put it in the middle. <laughs> like that. Yeah, it moves. So you put it in the middle. We don't need another chef net uh segment. Like <clears throat> she she gon' um uh, Yeah 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 yeah. Candy, I can feel it when you walk. <laughs> when you talk. Oh, we gonna get copyright for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You gonna get copyright for that. <laughs> you part of this crew. <laughs> hey. Now you got nothing. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't say nothing else. Yellow, pink, red, and green. <laughs> We're not talking Power Rangers shit. Are we? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm taking it in still. <laughs> oh, we doing it, baby. <laughs> doing it, doing it, doing it. Well. I want a special meal today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> we had 29. Even when we laugh, Chab yells at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah we had 29. We're going we gonna to take a, 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 a small break. We're coming back. Now, Keisha, Keisha, she is in the building. We got Shamu from the drum down here to talk about his what he got going on. He got, he got a, a, a nice EP out. Now, so y'all, should, y'all should check it out, man. The title, and the title of his EP is available now. All Screaming Services. It is titled Liquor. Liquor cabinet blues. I love that time. So this is, you know what I'm saying? We tie straight in together. Liquor, gin talk, shamu, next segment. We'll be back in the light. Oh, product placement. Product placement. Sure. E, E, bitch. Gin, sponsor. Gin, <laughs> sponsor us, sponsor us. Blue Chew, sponsor us. Hey, Blue Chew. <laughs> I need a pack. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody gonna look up. What's Bluetooth? <laughs> <laughs> you going through them packs like that? All right, we'll be right little, back. Little Billy gonna look it up. <laughs> we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ready? You ready? Oh, yeah, we start. Start the mic. Okay. Yo, it's the Gen Top Podcast with your boy Mike J. Ruby. Trav. And Keisha. Yes, you put sir. the mic in the middle like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, shit. But look. <laughs> but now, nah, we got a special guest in the building today. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yeah. This man is out here working hard. When y'all sleeping, this man is putting out beats after beats, hits after hits. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So give it up from Drum Dummy, Shamu the Panda. Indeed. Yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, motherfuckers and fuck mothers? <laughs> <you doing? laughs> we actually drinking. We live. Got, got some beers in here. Got some brews. And we got gin. Yeah, gin. And water, yeah. Water. <laughs> I know it's gin talk, but I'm gonna let y'all have the gin. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there, done that when I was younger. That was just, that was. You just started the gin. Uh, yeah, that was me. That's a, night, a night before Blue Flame. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Flame. I got drunk as hell off of gin, yeah. and I was saying some real shit. <laughs> <laughs> I came back from. I said we should start a podcast. We should talk about some real life. Was shit. it actually some real shit, or did it just sound? Like it was some real shit. <laughs> it was some real shit and some bullshit. Oh, okay. But you know, Trav been wanting to do a podcast for the longest, so we just all came together and did it together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about getting back into it, but damn, so I know me and uh, rap were. All right, so me and Michael probably end up calling him rap. 
mm-hmm. or a T rap or something, but that's uh, a yeah. king drum dummy for anybody that don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, shit, me and Rap been dancing around and bringing the drum dummy podcast back. Yeah, I should, man. I will. Yeah, I'm giving out tips, though. Y'all I, don't, I yeah. don't know for sure if he wants to do it like with the camera and like actually have a version of it put up on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Or just go audio with it, which, I mean, for me, I'm hoping that it goes just straight audio because that should be so much easier to have. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 But yeah, y'all should go getting that, uh, you know, film the Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, though. Y'all was on, um, y'all being so successful, y'all was still giving out the, the yeah, recipe game. how to, yeah, I, to I do mean, it. At least what we know of to this point, I mean, like, we ain't, like, wizards that know every fucking answer. By True. no means. But, like, yeah. pretty shit, to this day, pretty much, I'm just winging it, dude. Yeah. Like, they yeah. crazy, though. I sift y'all in, y'all from... Like we all, well, I'm, I'm, I stay in Tulsa County, y'all from Harris County, Sh- Shiloh, y'all made it to where y'all at now. Yeah. It's just crazy. Man, it's so hard work to do for Still you. Still live out there in the damn country. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't live in Shiloh anymore, but I'm, I mean, I'm like right up the road. Shit, uh, we just closed on a house. Uh, me and my wife did back in April, I think. Yeah. Or early June, but I'm living in Waverly Hall now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you right down the road from me. <laughs> Waverly Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man, y'all was out here grounding, man. Y'all was making beats, man. All them sample beats. Y'all was out here selling it. I mean, I, like, what was your, like, your inspirations for making beats and everything, like, like, like just, I think the first time I ever like started wanting to make beats and shit, like, was when I was younger. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I got into music period because of my uh, twin TJ. And after I wrote my first ever rap, which was fucking four bars of awfulness. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it, it actually it was, it was only like four bars, but at that point, that's when I started humming and beatboxing and shit like that. I'm like, damn, you know, I'd rather do that than actually like rap and make music and shit. Cause I was, I've always been more interested in the back end of it. Yeah. Like, uh, the mixing, producing, like all that kind of shit. <clears throat> but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that Atlanta traffic. I'm trying, I'm trying to get my nerves. I know that I we said. Well, that <laughs> Atlanta uh, traffic. What the hell was that? Um, yeah, man. Was, uh, that, that's pretty much what got me into it. Was yeah. like just after writing my first rap mm-hmm. and shit, just humming melodies and whatnot. Then after I finally got my first demo version of FL on my grandma's computer, got mm-hmm. it did down. <clears throat> it was on from there. I mean, them beats was trash and shit then too. But like, yeah, you can start out somewhere, man. Everybody start out something. No, for real. Like you even know when I used to rap with y'all, yeah. I was like, <laughs> show me. She was like, she <laughs> wasn't even bad though. <laughs> it was like nigga. It was like, everybody got to start off somewhere though. But y'all, y'all perfected the craft though. Yeah. Okay. No, I was like, I was like, damn. I want to make people like no. I said, like, how did they know when to drop the eight oh eight and all that shit? Like y'all know when to put the sample in and all yeah. that. And just, that's that just comes like off of vibe and shit. Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, there'll, there'll be ways I'll drop a beat, and like if me and rapper in the studio together, like shit, he'll be like, nah, I don't do it that way. He'll do it like this, and then he'll just do one fucking thing with the eight oh eight. Yeah. Just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like Change the whole goddamn vibe of it. It's like, motherfucker, that that son of a bitch. I, 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 <laughs> boy, I think he actually is like a wizard or something. Like that, that motherfucker. Yeah, dope man. I don't think he sold a soul or no shit like that. But. I like the beat. You know what I'm saying? You did one of my favorite artists, like Don Trip. It was. I've got other guy, Boss. Um, uh, Bosswood. Yeah, Bosswood. Oh man, that's my song. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that song done tripping hard. Nah. That shit tripped me out when he uh. uh uh, Boss Wood had actually hit me on Instagram telling me that he was going to get uh, Don Tripp on it. Yeah. Because he had originally got the beat. Uh, I think he had leased it from me. Yeah. And he got it and he the song was like, it was a Don Tripp, Starlito Don Tripp type beat on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. So I guess that's where he got the inspiration to make a song called yeah. Inspired by Don Tripp. Yeah. And that motherfucker said, oh, I'm actually getting Don Tripp on that. Like, I tried to play it cool, you know. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Inside, I'm like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Like, that's dope as shit. I'm gonna get down trip on my feet. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just, but I be feeling like when, like, besides Don Trip, who was like the other biggest artist that, like, like mainstream that hit you up for a beat? Probably what? That made you just, like, stargaze, like, damn. They really, like, fucking with me like that? Like, the first time they hit you, like, you was like, damn, they really fucking with me like that? Oh, um. 
Well, I can say he's like mainstream like that. I got you. Uh, yeah. uh, Ritz. When, when he, well, he dope. I listened to Ritz, it. Dude, <laughs> when Ritz hit me up for the first time, like, that, like that's just a funny story on that one, too. I was actually in uh, Assatula, Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a show with TJ and Samrock. It was like a mud park or something. And it was hotter than 400 hills outside. <laughs> You know, nature started calling, my stomach started bubbling from what I ate the night before, and I was about, God damn, I don't want to go to this Port John, but I'm going to have to do it, so. <laughs> and it was loud as shit outside, so, but thank God I actually did go there and, you know, shit in the hot box for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only time I could hear the phone ring, or, or feel it ring, or whatever the hell, and I looked down, it was a, it was like a North Atlanta number, I'm like, what the fuck? I answered the phone, and then it's, hey, yo, what's up, man, it's Rich, man. I said, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> said, nah, you shit sh- me, right? Nah, this uh, is this, this man. What's going on? Oh, oh, shit, this is real. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then, of course, that's another one trying to play that cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a little girl that just a people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man. Look, I keep these fucking headphones on. Nah, you ain't got You can take them off. Take them off. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but, yeah, man, like, like. You a dope producer, but you a dope you a, you a dope artist too, man. I've been yeah, listening yeah. to last two last two albums, man. They're dope. I mean, I, I dabble. Man, then, then like you sang you sang you sang and rap at the same time, so you don't need like I I need to sing the same up for him. Like it's like it's just dope. Like I do like, like to collab with folks though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be there's probably there's people that can sing in ways that I can't. Yeah, yeah. I ain't really got that, that rough of a voice like my shit. Honestly, I think it's a little more like whining sounding. <laughs> It's dope. So, so what is your um like? What do you enjoy doing more? Though? Being an artist or the producer? Definitely being a producer. Yeah. Um, well, actually, okay, it kind of depends on the day. I think well, mostly it's gonna be producing because I mean that's that's my bread and butter. Yeah. And that's what I had the interest in to begin with. Yeah. And what I actually made happen. So like, I do love that more. But then there's a lot of times where it's like I I get that itch. I got to scratch and yeah, you know, yeah. Like record a song, sing yeah. it, or whatever the hell. And also, like, performing and doing shows and shit is, yeah. like, fun as hell to me. Yeah, 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 man. I like, I get that Speaking of, which, uh, of shows, uh, we got one next week on the 23rd at uh, Sound Factory in Columbus, Georgia. Damn. Yeah. When's this, this podcast coming Is it coming out? We probably release, what, next week? Probably, we probably release it. What, what day you want to do it, much? As soon as possible. All right, yeah, about between Monday and Tuesday next week. Okay, so, yeah, all right, so it, it's still, it'll still be relevant. Uh, the 23rd uh, at uh, <laughs> South Factory, we got a show. It's a big line of people. I'm actually opening it and then also emceeing and DJing it. Yeah. To put DJ in quotations because I actually don't know how to, like, mix shit like that. I just got my laptop plugged in. Like, break me a fucking hard drive. <laughs> 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 now let go up that in. Might as well say 23rd. Uh, I think what time does this shit start? It's uh, I saw the flyer. I think it was at eight. Doors yeah. open at eight. Uh, I think he said that the music was the music started at nine, but it might not be because he told. I, I want to say that I was going on first, and then after me there was a uh, Stormy Lee, and then Sam Rock TJ go on for a thirty minute block, and then after that I have to look back at the lineup and, and see because there's like. <laughs> oh, there was like 15 much. fucking people on that on that bill. Yeah. Saw, <laughs> that's why when he hit me, he's like, "You got 15 minutes." I'm like, hey, you know, you know what? For one, that's that's great because I'm out of shape as hell anyway, and I gotta <laughs> sit up there and pretend I can sing for 15 fucking minutes. Like, yeah, nah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Give me some time to save my damn breath. Getting to this, your know, latest EP, <laughs> Liquor Cabinet Blues. Liquor Cabinet oh Blues. man, I'm feeling yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Because something you can drink to, just right, sit back and relax. I mean, it's sad as hell, too. But. I ain't even saying that. It's getting me I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get to drink it. Hey, <laughs> it's great drinking music. It depends on the track on there. Yeah. Like, my favorite one is the title track, oh, by yeah. the way. Yeah. That's, that's actually my favorite off the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, what what was the inspiration behind that, behind the EP? Uh, shit, behind the whole EP, that was kind of like, I was just doing, like, songs, like, on the side and shit. Like, yeah. every time I get a chance to do them. Yeah. The title track, I know... That came up because my dog Audio Guys um, had actually sent me the beat, and he was like, "I don't know what the fuck to do with it. So yeah. I can't get a place with nobody." I'm like, fuck it. I saw this challenge. I'm like, I, I can do something with it. I think. So I got it, and then came up with that fucking like. I actually just shit that hook out. Like I have 
I, I'd like to give you some kind of story that it was like, oh, well, it was inspired by this. And, <laughs> and I had this revelation, and, and this is how it got wrote down. Like, no, nah, I just pulled the beat up and started humming some shit, and that's how I came up with the hook. Yeah. <laughs> so it's dope, man. I enjoy the project. project. I enjoy the lab project, too. And the spaceships, it's my shit. It's always in rotation. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that listens to King Fat. Spaceship, like, yeah, spaceship. I, I assumed it was gonna be the F one. Spaceship, where is it? And most of the time, it ain't got shit to do with me. Man. <laughs> Somebody hit me up about that, like, oh yeah, TJ fucking killed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck me, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so how, TJ did mark that shit. Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah, killed. Yeah. So how did you and TJ? Um, like, like y'all say, we gonna do this music shit. Like, we gonna this this way this way. Um. Shit, I can't remember the exact day. We just decided, you know, that fuck it, we're gonna be serious with it. Yeah. I mean, uh, like it all began back in like shit, fifth grade, which I think was like 2004, 2004 yeah. maybe some shit. But uh, when we actually decided, like, all right, you, you know, fuck it, we we want to be serious with it. It was around like 2011, 2010, maybe like right, yeah. right, right toward the end of high school, and. Of course, then, like, we were recording music and shit. Like, we were still basically, like, playing with the shit. Like, we, I mean, we didn't really know where to go with it or how to get a show booked or any of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're good. Damn. <laughs> I think I oh. But, um, <laughs> <clears throat> we started for real, for real, taking it, like, uh, serious by means of, like, him being an artist and, like, actually going for it. In 2015, because that was when me and him started working on, uh, well, me and him and rap too. Rap gave us a, he actually made the title beat for TJ's uh, Freak Show album. Yeah. Uh, he made the beat for that with the Pink Panther sample in it. But it was around then. And hell, it was a year before that when I decided, all right, like, fuck it, I'm gonna like, start putting my beats online or you know, trying to sell those and, yeah. and make that an actual career, which. Goddamn thing, make it happen. I, I mean, I ain't fucking rich, but <laughs> hey, you I, I y'all ain't all right, though, man. Hey, no more. <laughs> <laughs> hey you do. Hey, you get money now. You making a living now. What you doing? There, I think there's a dope. So, what 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 advice you'll give a up and coming producer or artist trying to get to get to the next level? Just don't ever get discouraged and don't overthink shit. Like that's, that that'll be the biggest fucking thing by means of anybody doing shit. Any artist for that that matter. <laughs> Like, if you overthink it and you feel like, oh, damn, man, I've been doing this shit for, like, this many years and, and it, this shit ain't popped off for me yet or whatever, like, you know, I mean, hell, that, like, shit ain't just super popped off for me like that. Like, I'm, I'm still sitting at, what, like, 3,000 fucking followers on Instagram or some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, and then there's in the comparison, I'm, I'm by uh, King Drum, who's got plaques and, like, yeah. Should have a fucking blue chip mark by his name. Yeah, he should. Yeah, I, was just, I was just saying that. Like, I don't know why. He I don't know why the fuck he don't. Like, cause, goddamn. I mean, dog fucking deserves it at this point. Yeah, you know? man, it's it's crazy, man. Y'all. Actually, I don't think DJ Swift's got one either. Uh-uh. Fuck, he, he fucking needs one. Nah, yeah, man, y'all. Need. It's crazy because they got some hits with some with some with some of y'all favorite artists. And you know what I'm saying? They ain't got no, they don't have blue chip, chip, yeah, yeah. check. So Instagram, y'all, y'all fix that shit. So. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was I if I jump on that bunny trail? I, 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 I do that shit a lot too, bro. It's, so. like, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, y'all have me talking about one thing, and I'll end up like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we do it too. I do yeah. white positive. I've got undiagnosed fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be going to the fucking psych doctor to get that shit figured out soon. But uh, <laughs> anyway, what's up? Do you ever, um, Work with any of the local producers in the area? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, shit, who's a couple I have worked with? Uh, I think uh, my dog Notice. Uh, I want to say he lives in Pine Mountain. Mm-hmm. He's a shit. How old is he? Like he ain't that damn old. The motherfucker might be like eighteen or twenty. Mm. I think. Um, shit, just the other day, uh, there's a guy that goes by Holy Red. Uh, we was in the studio collabing on that. Uh, we, uh, I just got a new computer, so like when he came by, we ended up not getting but one fucking beat done because of how bad that computer was fucking acting up on me and shit. Because it was brand new, and apparently the new laptop didn't want to read off of the hard drive the way any of my older computers did. Like, 
I don't know what the hell was wrong with that damn thing, but I mean it's good. Like it's it's a fucking Lambo of a computer. Like that's that shit that runs like a champ. It just between me trying to download VSDs and everything like that, like like all at the same time. Then when he came, I'd already told him to pull up and let you know let's make some beats and whatnot. Because I actually got a session I got to go to at the living street tonight. Yeah. So I was trying to get some beats together, and we didn't get one beat done. But it was a dope beat though. I mean, it was <laughs> like the one we fucking got was dope. Yeah. I mean, we like shit. I'm gonna I'm get back in the studio with him anyway. But uh, who's who's some more fucking people to work with locally? Just not under the fucking drone dummy umbrella. Uh, <laughs> I mean, of course, I work with all them. Man, roll shot up. Yeah. King drone. Shout out C Rich, too. Nah, nah. Hell yeah. Yeah. C Rich, y'all. Why the hell ain't he a part of this podcast? Like, I kind of. <laughs> we asked that. <laughs> We I'm, asked. I'm too wild. <laughs> you don't mean him a night and day. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you want to come? That's the point. You know what I'm saying? Me <laughs> and him a night and day, so he'll be like, hey, you want to come on? Y'all yeah, motherfuckers been here like Skip and Shadow. I think that'd be cool as shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to bring him on. In your defense, you don't get too wild unless you <laughs> I've only seen you wild unless out. you know. <laughs> we live. We can't say that. <laughs> He don't get wild until he start drinking. Mm-hmm. Why the hell I have footage. <laughs> Baby, I ain't trying to go mess with Sherry Joe tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, what was it? The second time he put me on the podcast? Listen to that episode. Shit, I was. I don't even remember. I, was I think it was, the sec- it was the first or the second time he was, was on the podcast. I was a, on the podcast. It was the second. Second one. I don't know why I said I had that speech. Mm-hmm. Passed out. I did not pass out. The microphone. Was- <laughs> oh, you passed out. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he was spitting on me. He said, "Do what the fuck you want to do." I ain't got a chance to listen to the whole catalog. Please tell me. Oh man, I think like I'm so sick. I think everybody on the podcast is checking out my. Hold on, now the microphone is that is that out though? Yeah. I was just so like I'm listening to that shit in the car when I get. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is how my mama skipped that one and get to the one she listened to the fuss at me about. I'm like, you missed that yeah, one. This this podcast is is wild as shit. All over the fucking place. But it. nah, you know. <laughs> like I said I was listening to a couple, uh, the, the most recent one on the way up here when y'all was talking about uh, another beard. Oh, what was it like sex life and shit? Yeah. One of y'all, one of y'all said something along the lines of uh, every man remembers his first one, uh, his best nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That sounded like his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was on it for that one. I don't, I don't recall that nah, one. Nah, we had to record that one. We had to record over because the first we yeah, did was we messed up. Fucked it. Well, I, I don't know. Anchor fuck. No, no, that's the title. Anchor's fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Ain't that who y'all put podcasts out there? Mm-hmm. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Let us take one line. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they already paid. Nah, they already paid us, so we good. They undercut them. <laughs> yeah, they undercut them. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't know they if really got a sponsor. They really are. Uh, really we ain't been able to get a damn sandwich from McDonald's yet. <laughs> if them motherfuckers was going to like actually sponsor and promote y'all, like, you, you definitely shot that. Oh, yeah, I burned that bridge. Down. Yeah, yeah, I burned that one that bridge. Is, but you know, yeah. you just burn that bridge. Blew that we bridge love Seagram's Gin and Blue Chew. Yeah. Seagram's <laughs> Gin and Blue Chew. <laughs> Hell of a combination. <laughs> That sounds like an album. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like if Stanley Earl was going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, it was Jen and Bluetooth. This ain't God, baby. This is Stanley Earl. <laughs> 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 but we're still on Apple. We got to get on Kyle. Yeah. I mean, you're on Spotify, too. Which that's, yeah, that's I, what I listen to. All yeah, we on Spotify. I don't think, I think Tyler, you got to be, I don't know. I tried to submit it to, I don't, I need, I only see nothing to submit it to Tyler. Talk to their CEO. Oh, yeah, Jay. <laughs> Jay-Z. We going to be, we going to be rich. Oh, I get to talk to him. But, but yeah. yeah. You do work with a, um, a lot of people, you know, rap, Frank Rochada, C. Rich, y'all, Hit Lick, everybody. Everybody's talent. Everybody, like, when I first met y'all, everybody was like, talent. I said, damn. I said, somebody going to pop off. And everything. I think rap was the first one that like actually like went like that. Fucking <laughs> what is what is it she's trying to <laughs> <laughs> lie, bro. I'm, 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 I'm trying to like reply to his 
Like, you know, you know, no, it's all good. Right. Right. It's all good. We I'm right. applying pressure. He's just looking. not looking over his shoulder. He's like, refreshing. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get the phone back. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he just had the phone yeah. in the ring, like, like double tapping ass cheeks and shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get it wrong. Like, I mean, I mean, on this end, that's what it looked like. He was sure trying to refresh my hair right up. Even though I'm upset, nah, nigga. What you saying? Show like, yourself. Like, even though like rap took off, you know he ain't forgot where he came from. He took hell he, no. He, he took care of everybody. He, and he gave the whole blueprint to everybody. Yeah, you, yeah. You do this and you apply this, you can make it. And that's that was the thing. That was the thing too. Like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And that was a like a, a trait that I appreciate most about him and. Mm-hmm. That I even took for myself and like anybody that might be quote unquote under me at this point, like if I can give you something by means of money or like a computer or like something that you need, like I will. But on that same note, like I'm not gonna be the guy that's just like taking all the fucking shine and then like just giving you a little money mm-hmm. and letting you just eat off me and ride on my coattails and shit. Because yeah. there's a lot of people to blow up and when they got followers or producers or somebody under them, it's, it's kind of like that. It's like I right, just. Or when people sign to a label or whatever the fuck, if they'll be like, all right, here, just take this little bit of money. Or they just give them enough money to where, like, the, your underdogs is, is straight. See, rap don't do that shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you, like, in a pinch, like, I'm pretty sure if I ever got, like, that bad in a pinch and I called him, like, hey, dog, look, I, I, I need this, he'd probably send me. But he ain't never been that motherfucker to just be like, all right, I'm going to just give you this little bit of money and you stay where you at. Nah. You want to see you well, grow. Yeah, yeah. It's like he, he showed yeah, me what yeah. was working for him, and which that's another thing for advice to give for, for anybody that's trying to do it. Just because of like whatever route one person took, got them to a level by means of producing, rapping, whatever. Like if, if they took a certain route that made them famous, that does not fucking mean that it's going to work for you. Because mm-hmm. YouTube wasn't... I mean, I still got my YouTube and I upload to it every now and then and shit, but I try to anyway. But YouTube didn't really work for me like that. Yeah. Work for work for uh, King Drone like hell. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That was what he blew up on first was on fucking yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. That's where he made like all his money from. For me, uh, my first bit of like consistent customers and shit came from Instagram. So even yeah. with like 3,000 followers, which that's another thing too, all my up and comers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. <laughs> Damn, don't let a follower count fuck with you because somebody could probably have like 15,000 followers and then like some of them bitches might be fake. Yeah. Say it louder. Some of these motherfuckers might have a whole lot of followers on their Instagram and shit, but a lot of them might be fake. Now, yeah. if you don't have a 2,000 followers, and half of them are returning customers to really fuck with your shit, that's two, that's, what was happening? A thousand. A thousand. That's, like, that's a thousand motherfuckers. Like, I can't do math for shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. But. <laughs> but that's, that's like, you know, a thousand people that would be coming back to either stream your music, or, oh shit, uh, yeah. stream your music, uh, buy beats from you, or whatever the hell. So you might have less followers, but at least you got, like, real fucking people that'll shop with you. Like, yeah, so don't ever let the fucking number discourage you. Like, yeah, because yeah. my, my number, like, I, I used to let that shit fuck with me bad until I realized, like, wait, I'm still paying my fucking bills, though. Like, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. like, am I, like that, was, that was the end goal. Like, it was fucking not work a regular, quote unquote, regular job. Like, make this shit that I love doing my job. Yeah. And. Damn it, I did it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like with us. We, we probably got like 300 followers, but we get a bunch of like, we get a bunch of listens, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like we never like just go off all the Instagram followers. Well, y'all, y'all still kind of new, too. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. knew. So, yeah, my mama listened to it. 65 years old. She still listens to it. What? <laughs> uh, uh, she knows the truth. Right? She gonna look, uh, don't let me look at that else different. All right. So, get this. The first episode, she hit me up. She listened to the first episode. You know, the first episode she listened to. I don't I know. But she was like. Episode, like, now I'm interested. She, she, she was so upset with me. <laughs> I didn't know you could talk like that. I'm like, who you? What you talking about? <laughs> I call these niggas on the group chat. I call them live. I'm like, man, tell my mama all y'all be talking the way y'all do. They was like, no, nope. ma'am. Hey, no, ma'am. <laughs> Christian podcast. Like, this we, is a Christian podcast. We're going to incriminate ourselves. <laughs> 
This is a Christian podcast. We are all Jesus. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm, I'm actually auntie. a Christian, believe it shit or not. Like, it's, it's, yeah, like, yeah. Thank God my auntie was over there because my auntie had to knock some reason. She, maybe all you were listening to was her. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man. I just, uh, shit, but the fact that she's that, like, is she really sensitive to, like, bad words and shit? Because if so, I'm pretty sure I've said the words. <laughs> Everybody fooled. Everybody fooled. Genetic. Yes. Genetic. Live until you see my ottoman come across your head. That's an ottoman. The ottoman? Like, whole ottoman. I don't know. It's smaller than me. It is smaller than me. Whole ottoman. Just clean across my head. I was like 17 years old. I think the most obscure thing I ever got my ass with was a clothes hanger. That was the closest thing. We was in the living room. That's all it was. was the ottoman. That's all she did. She didn't want to throw the shoe. Man, Not even a remote control? Like <laughs> years ago, we upgraded the Ottomans, furniture, whatever she could get her hands on. They're like penny from this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I locked the door. You know she love you, though. If you, if, you you. Turned, if you turned into any other kind of a fucking person that a good person after getting your ass whooped with furniture, Hey, I don't know. That was some goddamn. Thing. Actually, no. If you did turn into a bad person, that like it'd be understandable. Because I mean, like that's gonna be my daughter's coming happened? of age story. You ain't lived until you had a whole sofa come across your head. Oh, that'd be, like, <laughs> that'd be like the same shit. Mommy used to tell me like like I, I get whooped or something by her or like actually the shit mama like to do. Which this ain't me saying my mom was a bad parent. She was actually really dope for the most part. But we uh, see me, me and my twin got got big ass heads. <laughs> like straight up, if I go to Liz and go to get a hat, I gotta pull everything out and get a size eight out the back. Like I got a big fucking knocker. And Mama had these bony ass knuckles that she just loved. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't never the whooping. It wasn't none of that shit. It was right up the damn side I of the head. One of them before. <laughs> you feel all of that. It was Pop worse than that. She was a nurse too. So like, yeah. I mean, if, like if you ever got fucked up, you didn't, you didn't go to the doctor. Or anything, That's like if a dumb dumb hit your tooth, you out of there. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so we. All right, let's. <laughs> so <laughs> Talk about some of your future placement. What you got going on for the future? What you got in the, in the next next few months or next year? What you got playing on going I know, on? Uh, <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> what part are you imagining? The fucking furniture? No, the uh, dumb dumb. dumb. <laughs> Wait, okay, when you said, did somebody like hit you, you in your shit with a dumb dumb? No, I'm just saying, you know how you put a light pop in your mouth too fast and you hit your tooth like, oh my god, slow down. Oh, I mean, I've done that with a beer bottle. Down. I ain't never done that. <laughs> oh, that. That's usually why I drink can. Well, for one, the phone's here, so I'll break the hell out of the phone. <laughs> if I got a can, I can't break that shit. It'll just shit. <laughs> But uh, fuck. Um, go ahead, go ahead. What was the question? The, like, uh, um, what you got going future on the future placement? placement? Right. I think it was last week. Ritz actually just dropped his new album, Picture Perfect. I got uh, two on that one. I know a two and ten. I listen to. I know this style of beat. Hell yeah! What was the name of that song? Um, I need for to go through the book and shit. That's gonna take Hello, I look up for right quick. Sorry, people. But uh, lie. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was a uh, two and ten. I got I got them on that, and uh, I know this evening. I don't know when when anything we do will come out, but I'm I'm gonna be in the studio with uh, Daddy at One K, uh, who signed the Sony Airs too. Yeah. Mm. Um. And then, uh, actually, the thing I'm most excited for is uh, Ritzmas. Uh, it was <laughs> me and Ritz. Uh, well, I mean, there's other producers on there besides me, but I think I got, like, from what I know, I got eight beats on it so far. Yeah. On the Christmas album. Yeah. So sound, it's dude. it's a fucking Christmas album. And, I, like, I, he sent me a couple of the roughs. And yeah. I ain't, I ain't never been so fucking ready for Christmas in my damn life. I love it. I promise. I'm telling you, like, like October, October 31st, come and go. Like, November 1st, I'm going to have the tree up, lights, and all that you shit. You ready? Like, like, everybody. Don't think of that. You know, people got Halloween decorations on the trees now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Some people do put the yeah, tree up, like, year-round. Year-round and just decorate it differently. I don't have time. But, speaking of the fucking, uh, the... 
like November first with a tree. There's, there's people that like to bitch, and I was gonna make a TikTok about this, but fuck it, I'm on a podcast. I'll do it now. <laughs> 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 All right. There's people that want to be mad as hell if you put your fucking tree and your decorations up on November first. Like, oh, you forgot about Thanksgiving? Well, don't be about a bird or whatever the hell. Like, <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my tree up and eat the bird. Don't, the tree. don't like, be worried. Yeah. For, for one thing, don't be worried about what the fuck I do anyway. Yeah. And for two, how the fuck is it not good for me to put my damn decorations up on November first? Yeah. But Santa Claus can slide his fat ass up to the Thanksgiving Day parade, <laughs> and don't nobody better fucking out. <laughs> that ain't your fucking day, you big red bastard. <laughs> Right, that might be white fools. Oh, yeah, it's Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but they said they ain't having them dishes. What is it? Yeah, okay, yes, Black Friday. Oh, they Friday. I know they have a Black Friday. Oh, I thought it was Amazon. I thought it was Amazon. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the parade. Yeah, the Macy's parade. Yeah, shit. What are the fucking places they got for? I jump on another bunny trail. There's the Ritz Avenue just drop. I got Richmond's on the way. Um, Shit, of course. I got all kind of shit coming on Sam Martin TJ. Uh, a fella named uh, Zilla Gorilla who's coming up now. Um, he actually lives in, he's from Phoenix City, but oh. I got a lot coming from him. Uh, he actually, I want to say the album just dropped out there. It, did it drop? No, it ain't dropped yet. It's uh, dropping on the 24th. So, uh, it's an album called Crown of Thorns, and I got like a shitload of features and did most of the beats on that one. And I actually engineered that whole bitch too. Oh, damn. Yeah. But, yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I, like, I, 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 I love running out of time. Nah, but is there like a, um, like, a dream art? Is there somebody you really want to work with? Like, if there's anybody out there that's out right now that can get a hold of one of your beats, who would you want on it? Oh, God. Um, I mean, as a, as a, since I started with shit, like, I, I want to work with T Pain, period. Like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 motherfucker, that motherfucker's all the yeah. I, I learned how to harmonize, period. And, I mean, of course, like, if, if I could do anything with Jazzy Faye, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. But then, like, you know, OG, like, legend shit. By means of new people, I fucking hate the Juice World died because I, I really fucked with him and I wanted to do some shit with him. But. Hey man, I can hear your shit on some creep, real talk. Oh, yeah. That's a mother. Yeah. Matter of fact, now that you mentioned it, that's that's one that I, I want too. I, like I see that, like uh, fucking him out of I, nowhere, like woo. Yeah, I, 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 love, I love to get with uh, Yellow Wolf. I, I love. Oh yeah, that yeah, shit. that'll be dope yeah, too. Because yeah. I mean, I'm already fucking with Ritz. Like, if I get Yellow Wolf too, that that'll just like like make that whole circle for me, and I'll, I'll just be complete inside, and it'll be great. Damn. And then of course probably uh, uh, Duke Deuce is like the, the one of the most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the like as soon as he in. came out with Crunk Ain't Dead, I'm like, I, like God damn, like thank mm-hmm. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. <God> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even like. I'm like, of course, like TJ and Samurai do Crunk shit, and you know they're, they're a little bit more underground. But like, I was so happy to see somebody like in the mainstream. That, yeah, like, bring, bring it back. back. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> fuck. These, like, everybody been so fucking zanned out and tired for the past. Like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't heard nothing like with some fucking life in it so damn long. Thank yeah, God for yeah. this. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I want to fuck with him for real. Like, that's, so, I mean, there's probably a bunch of more artists that, like, I'm missing. Yeah. And the only reason I can't name them is because I'm on the spot. Like, it's yeah. all good, man. It's all good. You know you out here working, bro. Yeah, man. I'm trying, but. I mean, I'm gonna be killing time in the car before I go to the next session or whatever because I'm definitely not driving that motherfucker until I wait about an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting something about like this. Oh, oh, you're gonna get How long have we been in there, man? Shit, oh, we got about yeah. a few minutes left. Yeah. We're gonna wrap it yeah, up. Are we wrapping it up? You wanna go ahead and um, plug up anything, man? Anything? Uh, yep, shit. Uh, Liquor Cat and the Blues is on uh, every streaming service uh where you can purchase it whatever the hell apple spotify that's a new album if you need beats for me in particular or would like to work with me i got beats on my website at www.shamudrumdummy.com and then of course it's drumdummyrecords.com which is where uh, my dog king drum dummy sells his beats 
what else is there to plug in? Oh, uh, let me let me straighten this up right quick too. Because my wife got on my ass about it. I actually have a happy marriage, and I'm and I'm not as sad as it seems on that album. Like, <laughs> I do I, a lot of the songs on there are sad, and I do a lot of sad shit. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's a stress reliever, and I mean to be honest, yeah. sometimes I like I, I get a little fucking depressed, and I'll sing about a fucking breakup or some shit. Like, like it, it'll seem like I'm in a bad relationship, and. Oh, <laughs> she didn't really, she didn't really get in my ass about it. Like she sat down one day, and was like, "Babe, like, like we're, we're good, right?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, like, no, nah, like we got, we got the happiest fucking marriage ever." Like, I mean, of course, of course, it, it don't go without its fights, but like, even when we fight, it ain't like a like a fight. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. gotta sit down and talk out how I fucked. But usually, it's how I fucked up. So, yeah, like it, it'll be me. Like, oh, you got fucked up last night. Well, but that was this morning too. <laughs> <laughs> like why why was it that you were out so like I, I mean I, I was drinking beer <laughs> and somehow or another a shot of Jaeger got put in that shit too <laughs> and I was good for the whole fucking night until, that's how you know you got a good marriage cause she didn't ask who you was with you yes. just asked why oh, the, fact, <laughs> yeah. the fact that she decided she didn't care about the who when I told her I was I wanted to be a producer for a living and she decided to still stay with my ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, no, she would have won. Oh, that was it. Yeah. That was that was it. It wasn't getting no better than that. I ain't gotta wish we had our whole two hours. I we know. We, we, we gonna run it back. We're gonna run it back. We're gonna run it back. I'm not gonna say shit. I'm gonna fall in damn block. I know. <laughs> I don't know if they got another. Yeah, they got another set. Yeah, they got if they yeah. booked all the way up behind us. Yeah, they they, they, they probably do that little corner off and back there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot about that shit. That's, yeah. Well, hell, if they got a corner somewhere, fuck it. We'll pull it up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 We put it on film, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a King, Drummy, and Gen Talk album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you coming on, you know what I'm saying, connect. We're going to have you back, and we got another session over here. Man, you bring TJ, we're going to bring the whole gang next time. Game, I really wanted, uh, I talked to King Drum last night. I was, I was going to bring him up and like, like be fucking surprised. It ain't just me. He was going to be with me, but um, shit, I couldn't get him on the phone this morning. So, so. I mean, me and him both was out late as shit. Yeah, which yeah. He did not get near as shit faced as what I did. <laughs> usually the situation, I'm, I'm more of the fuck up with the two of us. But, well, I ain't gonna say fuck up, but I, I drink a lot more. <laughs> 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 but now I couldn't get him on the phone. He's, uh, I think he's supposed to have a session up here tonight, uh, too. I want to say he's working with Young and Ace, but I don't know what studio he's going to be at. It'll be dope as fuck if he's in the same studio I'm in. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't got the uh, confirmation on that shit yet, but if I find out he's in the same studio, the show up going to be like, all right, rappers, so, uh, back and forth. Like, I'll, I'll go in here and, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought cool he's Young and Ace, and uh, you can go in here and fuck with Day Day for a minute. Like, yeah. sir, swap it up. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna be talking your heads off shit. I'm not gonna You good. Right, we'll, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we like to say, we really appreciate you coming on. You know, this has been Mike. Wait, Mike gonna do the outro. Drew say you gotta do the monkey note all the time, too. No, that's Drew. Drew's gonna do Yeah, I'm doing the monkey note. He said he's gonna do the outro. He said he was gonna do it today. Yeah. <laughs> I might hop in here with a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, I, well, nah. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I want to thank Shamu the Panda to come out, man. You, you know, I appreciate you coming down. Man. Oh yes, yeah, so sir. Like what? Man, you appreciate, know. appreciate you having me. Yeah. No, anytime. We want to thank the plug for having us too. This has been, you know, it's a real, it's a real feeling, man. I, for real, for real. I appreciate, my, you know. This is my first time being in the studio. Yeah. Shit, I appreciate <laughs> Trav, Groovy Drew, and Keisha for all their hard work. You know, hey, like happened in the year. So, yeah. Hey. As always, we in the jungle, baby. Before I do it, shout out to Harris County. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> wow, the come from. Yeah. <laughs> and as always, we in the jungle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even look like you. <laughs> and we out. <laughs> Have a good night. Be safe.